This is the neutral safety switch out of my 124-300E. It's a little grubby. It's not coated in any messy oil products though, just road grime. It was taken out in a video I will put a link to in the description and just above. You can see how and where I removed it and video of it located in the car. So this safety switch has screws. They're not supposed to have screws. They're originally just a riveted device. Somebody has put those in, repaired the, the unit at some point, and then Dremel tooled off the bottom where you can see just there to bring the screw down with the level of the plastic. So let's have a look at this. Now that they have gone to that effort, we can have a look inside and see what it looks like and how it works. This is the first time I've opened it up, so bear with me. This diagram here is just a tracing of the device. It sits in your gearbox like that. That is the front of the car. This is on the left-hand side of the gearbox as viewed from sitting in the vehicle. This lever here connects to the gear selector rod and this hole here has a shaft through it into the gearbox which selects the actual gear. As you move the gear stick from park to reverse, neutral drive three and two, pivoting around this point here, this lever will push this lever here forward into this position here. So that metal bracket, which you will see against your gearbox, against right up against the tunnel, We'll push this plastic lever forward into at least this position. Mine seems to travel all the way to there, but at least that position, there's a click here and a very weak but noticeable click there. So let's turn it over and have a look inside and see how it works. My car was fine except for the reversing lights. This controls the reversing lights somewhere in this pin allocation here um, otherwise it's my car started fine but this device is used to stop the car being started while in reverse and while in drive three or two to call the neutral safety switch for that reason so let's pop it over take it apart and have a look Let's see how easy this comes apart. That's the inside of the cover. There's a oil seal or protective seal there. Or metal. And here, looks quite oily inside actually. Let's just have a close look for you. See that? So if I throw the lever here, okay, so that's, be careful, that has to stay located in position. So that is currently in the park position. If we move it around, we get somewhere between reverse, neutral, and that's obviously not doing anything this far down. There's a switch there. You can see it moving the contactor just there as it passes over. And then here again, no, it seems to stop there, move to there, like 
that. So now the lever is fully over in the, that position there. So, a bit mucky, should have worn gloves. I don't know if that's a dielectric grease in there or what, but it's a bit yuck. So I wonder what causes the failure of the reversing lights, possibly cracked solder or a bad joint in there. This comes off, oh, there's a little spring. And that. There you go. Without getting into too much detail. That is the neutral safety switch. On the inside, nice close look. So I've got the switch. Let's move it back to the park position. So that position there should allow the car to start. This position here should prevent the car from starting and then into neutral across the jump there, that should be neutral. So the car should be able to start. But I don't know what happens with drive three and two. There you go, that's the inside of a neutral safety switch. If that helps any of you. Leave some comments down below if you want to see some more or some other pictures. Um, otherwise, I don't know what was repaired by taking this apart and putting it back together with these screws. Someone's obviously seen some benefit in that. I can't tell what that might have been. But there you go, neutral safety switch from a W124 300E 1987 model. Thanks for watching.